we want to find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 5. A good technique for doing this is to start writing down the times table for the smaller number. I usually write down the first 5 to begin with. Once I've done that, I go to the other number and write down its times table. The first number that appears in both lists is the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple of 4 and 5 is 20. I'm now going to look at another technique which can be useful when we're looking for lowest common multiples involving algebraic quantities. 4 could be written as 1 times 2 times 2. Strictly speaking, of course, we don't need the 1, but I do use it. 5 is 1 times 5. Start with one of the two expansions. The lowest common multiple is given by 1 times 5 and then look at the other expansion and pick out anything we don't yet have. We've already got a 1 times but we don't have a 2 times 2. So bring it in here. 1 times 5 is 5 times 2 is 10 times 2 again is 20. Note how we get the same value for the lowest common multiple. As mentioned, this method is very useful when dealing with algebraic quantities. With a little practice, you'll be able to do it in your head. So let's consider 4 and 6. 4 could be written as 1 times 2 times 2 and 6 can be written as 1 times 2 times 3. For the lowest common multiple start with the 6. That's 1 times 2 times 3. Now look at the 4. We already have a 1 times 2 but we don't have the extra 2 so we bring it in here. The lowest common multiple then is 1 times 2 which is 2 times 3 which is 6 times 2 again is 12. You should know that the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12 so you can see that the method works.